Hello everyone, my name is Dara and this is Dear Hallmark where we nerd and geek out over the Hallmark Channel. The house is alive with the sound of music. So you might hear laughter, you might hear footsteps, you might hear yelling, I don't know. But just to explain any background noise, as well as my air conditioner, air conditioner, not conditioner, air cooler. Um, it is hot, so I need something to cool me off, yes, because we are in the thick of summer. Speaking of summer, that's what I'm here today. We are doing round two of Summer Nights. So we had our first batch of movies, which you guys have seen my reviews for. You've seen the wrap up for. Then we took a break with Christmas in July. And now we're going to round out the summer with our second batch of Summer Nights uh, movies. And uh, we're going to preview this second batch that starts July 31st. And I have my laptop here, so I have up kind of the synopses for I, the, the synopsis for each movie. So we're gonna go through each movie, talk about when it airs, who's in it, and what we think about it. Give our preconceived notions and kind of gauge where we feel like the movie is going to land on our list based off of what we read. That's what this preview. That's what this preview episode is about. So uh, let's let's just get right into it. The first movie that is going to premiere to kick off the second round of Summer Nights movies is called Love, For Real. Love, For Real. And that airs Saturday, July 31st at 9. It stars Scott Michael Foster, Corbin Blue. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. And Chloe Bridges. Y'all. Ain't nobody see Corbus's, at least me, I see Corbus's High School Musical. Are you kidding me? Is this, is like, and y'all, I'm in the thick of the millennials. Like, I was born 89. I'm a, I can't even deny millennials if I could. Like, so I know the homie Corbin. Are you kidding me? <laughs> First we had Allison Mashalka. Now we got Corbin. Y'all ain't slick. Okay, let's read the synopsis. That really threw me off. Okay, oh my gosh. Haley and her best friend Brie go on a reality dating show to publicize her fashion line. But nothing goes as planned when love, friendship, and careers are on the line. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still so giddy. Like, oh my gosh. Karen Melina White? You're joking. That's Hillary from um Karen Molina. That's Hillary from uh Fresh Prince of Bel Air, right? I know that that's her. Yo, they first of all, Hallmark, who who told you to do this? Who Who told you to do this? No, that's Charmaine. That's Charmaine from um the Cosby Show. <gasps> Y'all, okay. <laughs> I got a comment. Cause now I'm already betting for this. I just pray, I pray that this movie, because all right, I, can I be transparent for a moment here? Can we? Can we talk? Can we have a? Can we have a sip of water, raise a glass to freedom? Um, the movies, and I've, I'm speaking primarily from Countdown to Christmas. Because we haven't had little little to any this year so far that had uh, um, black and brown leads. The movies that we've had that have had black and brown leads with Countdown to Christmas were all horrible. A Christmas Tree Grows in Colorado. Christmas comes twice. The I didn't see the doctor one with Holly Robinson Pete. What was it? The Christmas doctor. Christmas comes twice and A Christmas Tree Goes in Colorado was an absolute snooze fest. Um I'm just, oh god, I'm so nervous now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so we have love for real. All right. The next one is called The 27 Hour Day. And, oh my gosh, I just realized, am I even gonna be here to see it live? Dang, Nabbit. 
I just got invited to do a little crab something or other with the family on July 31st. It's going to be all right. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. The next movie is The 27 Hour Day. That airs Saturday, August 7th at 9 and stars Arta Risha and Andrew Walker. <laughs> First of all, I just got finished watching a Christmas movie with Autumn Reeser and Jesse Metcalf. What is it called? Christmas Under the Stars or something like that? Where he was a stock, he was an investment banker, lost, got fired, and she is a a single mom by choice in the in the uh, with the with the premise that she adopted um, her boy. She took him into foster care and adopted him, um, and he ends up working at the Christmas tree lot that she always frequents every holiday. But anyway, uh, have they been paired together before, Autumn Weezer and Andrew Walker? We always know Cousin Andrew finna kill it. But I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be an interesting pairing. Let's get the premise though. An entrepreneur takes a necessary break from, the de from developing her wellness brand, Empire. Give me Lululemon meets FabFitFun. Hello. Um, and she discovers that the work-life balance she needs won't be easy. Will a new romance and relax and retreat change her life forever? Huh. Huh, 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 huh. All right. They, they, come, they coming out with the big guts. I mean, we got Corbin Blue, Karen Melita White, Andrew Walker, all the research. Homework said, hold my coffee, please. <laughs> and let me tell you what it is I do. Um, let's, let's go with the third movie. We have Sealed with a Kiss, Wedding March 6th. Now, I've seen none of the Wedding March movies. So I don't know if this, gonna, if this is going to mean anything to me. It stars Jack Wagner, Josie Bissett, Nathan Witt or White, and Caitlin Stryker. So before saying I do themselves, Mick and Olivia are hosting the wedding of an A-list actor and his fiance. But when the low key celebration morphs into an event that's anything but that, they have to quickly pivot to pull it off. Meanwhile, when Mick gets an exciting opportunity, Olivia won't let him turn down. They're faced with delaying their own nuptials until a last minute change in plans gives both couples the weddings of their dreams. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, mm. I mean, I guess I could still watch it, but I have, I hope I don't have to have had watched. That was a lot of past tense verbs. <laughs> Would I have needed to watch the other movies to watch this? Do you think it's necessary? I might just still watch it for the hay of it because I don't think I'm going to be doing anything that Saturday evening anyway, so. Oh no, my niece is in town. I catch it on the replay. I catch it on the replay. That that review might be late for you. I just want to put it out here right now. Next. Oh, crap. Yep. Uh, I already kind of saw who's in it. This is called Love in the Afternoon. It is Saturday, August 21st at 9 p.m. Featuring Jen Lilly, Ryan Pavey, and Linda Dono. Now, Jen Lilly, I got first introduced to her in USS Christmas. And Ryan Pavey, I was first introduced to him with Christmas at the Plaza. Now, I know Christmas at the Plaza came out 2019, but I first saw it last year because they played it. It was the movie that came on. Um, it was the movie that came on right before the newest Countdown to Christmas movie last year. And I watched it and I said, who this? <laughs> um, and then uh, he did A Timeless Christmas and I was like sign sealed delivered you it but then we got uh, Don't Go Breaking My Heart and I was like hold on there brother what what all's happened what, what's happening he brought I promise you sir RP cousin Ryan I need you to... I said this with Don't Go Breaking My Heart and you let me down. You broke my heart. I said Don't Go Breaking My Heart and you broke my heart because you didn't bring it, bruh. I need you to bring it for this one. Bring me a timeless Christmas. 
This is love in the afternoon. Let's, I didn't even read the premise. Look at here. Okay. So in order to save her daytime soap drama from cancellation, head writer Maggie must convince Darren. All right. With the name Darren, that's different. Darren, fan favorite actor and her real life ex-boyfriend. Oh, dang. <laughs> Let's start that over. In order to save her daytime soap drama from cancellation, head writer Maggie must convince Darren, a fan favorite actor and her real life ex-boyfriend, to return to the show. The show's producer, Alice, who created the series, wants to retire and hopes to pass the baton to Maggie if the soap can be salvaged. Now here's the thing, Ryan has a soap background. But I hope he just doesn't rely on the soap background alone to carry him. Because I felt like he I felt like he did that in Don't Go Breaking My Heart. And it backfired, personally. Because I felt like he was very monotone and one note with that performance. But, um... You bet your bottom dollar I'm finna watch it. I'm curious. I'd love to see how certain actors... Like, how their chemistry gets off with different um, leading ladies. Like, I... I, I did I like him and Aaron in um, what was that a summer romance where he was the, the city slicker and she was the cowgirl I like the characters I just don't know if I like them together him and uh who was homegirl in Christmas at the Plaza was that Jessica Lowndes because y'all she's about to be my honorable mention new favorite um uh new favorite Hallmark leading lady although I know she does she dips in both pools because she does a lot of lifetime too Christmas at the Plaza. Who's this? Cast. Oh, Elizabeth Henstridge. She gives me Jessica Lowndes vibes. Um, but, uh, so that means that meant nothing. But, um, in either event, he had great chemistry with her. The chemistry was like chestnuts roasting over an open fire. Do you hear me? Oh my gosh, that joint was crazy. So let's talk about the last movie. What are these names? <laughs> the name of the last movie, Saturday, August 28th at nine, is called Sweet Pecan Summer. All right now, you bringing me sweet, you bringing me pecan pie, and you bringing me summer, you better bring it. Amanda, oh, it stars Wes Brown, which who played opposite Jessica, and I love them together. Christine Coe and Lauren Tom. All right now. Amanda must work with her ex-boyfriend, JP, to sell her favorite aunt. Oh, there's a typo. To sell her favorite aunt's pecan farm. There's pecan farms? Putting aside their differences, old feelings. Sorry, putting aside their differences, old feelings start to rekindle and they question their life paths. I don't know. I felt like they should have they should have put that one first and started with love for real cuz they I feel like the way that the way in which the movies air is going to be the way in which I like them. We have 5 movies this time instead of instead of 4. Um I am already I'm just going to say love for real is going to be let's start from the bottom. Wedding March 6 is going to be the bottom. That's I'm, that's coming in at number five because I have no idea what's going on. Never seen any of the other ones. And I'm just like, Ugh. that's the one I care the least about, if I could be completely honest. Number four, Sweet Pecan Summer with uh, Wes Brown and Christine Co. Because I, I just don't know. That gives me Baker's Sun vibes already. Already. Next. Jen Lilly and Ryan Pavey in Love in the Afternoon, number three. That's coming in at number three. Number two, The 27 Hour Day, starring Autumn Reeser and Andrew Walker. I feel like that one's going to be really, really good. And I'm banking, I am praying and interceding, call the intercessors. I'm praying for Love for Real, starring Scott Michael Foster, Corbin Blue, and Chloe Bridges, and Karen Melina White. I want that to be awesome. So I'm putting that as my number one. I'm, I'm super happy about that. So you guys, that is the summer preview for the Summer Nights Round 2. That starts July 31st. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's talk about it. I'm excited to talk with you guys about this. And definitely look forward to my reviews for these movies. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.